Today, America's oldest veteran heads to Washington, D.C. for the trip of a lifetime. He leaves tomorrow from New Orleans, which is where KPLC's Jillian Corder is with the latest on his journey. Tonight, Frank Levingston is resting in the Crescent City before a busy few days in D.C. Now, earlier today, the 110-year-old was honored by Southwest Louisiana veterans and leaders. A great pleasure that I present to you, Mr. Frank Levingston. <laughs> here today to issue a proclamation in his honor, which designates today as Frank Livingston's day and celebration of his 110th, 110th birthday. Frank Livingston is tasked with delivering a key to the city of Lake Charles to President Obama. He also was honored with a challenge coin from the Sheriff's Office. Enjoy your trip in, in Washington, D.C., uh, and I know you'll serve us well, and we appreciate your service. Thank you very much. When I see Mr. Frank, I don't see a 110-year-old man. I see a young black soldier in green utilities with worn combat boots scampering across the sand on those beaches. We're very fortunate to live in America. Overcome with joy, Livingston thanked everyone for their support. It's for all of my combat and, and, and uh, that's here and take a part with me in her. You, but you don't know how good, grateful I feel. Tomorrow morning, another party at the airport as Livingston makes his way to Washington. Well, he made it to the Capitol today, and KPLC's Jillian Quarter has more from his trip. Frank Livingston made it to the nation's capital, receiving the warmest of welcomes. It's, of course, the trip of a lifetime, and it all started in New Orleans, where he was sent off as a hero. A standing ovation as he made his way to the gate. Led by TSA agents, the 110-year-old says he never expected this. A farm boy in the skin, working on in the cotton field and gin. Gin like I never dreamed of something. Then take a walk and something like this. I wanted to tell you, thank you for your service. I appreciate it. I appreciate what you're doing. Yes, sir. Dozens of people came to shake Levingston's hand and thank him for his service, and the entire concourse joined in. His arrival in D.C. was just as exciting. Congressman Charles Bustani was first to greet Levingston. And the applause didn't stop as people wanted to pay their respects to such a remarkable man. Tonight, Frank is getting some much needed rest before a busy day tomorrow. A Pearl Harbor ceremony and a complete tour of the National Mall are on the agenda. Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day was honored by a special ceremony at the World War II Memorial, and a Lake Charles man was a special guest. Tonight, America's oldest veteran, Frank Levingston, continues his honor tour in the Capitol. KPLC's Jillian Carter has more from D.C. An exhilarating trip for Frank Levingston, the 110-year-old toured the National Mall and had a special role in the Pearl Harbor Remembrance Ceremony. A date which will live in infamy. Visiting the World War II Memorial brought back memories. He wasn't the only World War II veteran in attendance, but he is the oldest on record. And the oldest American World War II veteran still alive, Mr. Frank Levingston. He was first to lay a wreath in honor of his fallen comrades. And paid his respects at the tomb of the unknown soldier. Bringing him to tears. He would, would, would be, people would have sacrificed. For the world being over there, and 
I can't explain it. It's very touching. From the Kennedy gravesite to the Martin Luther King Memorial, even a view from the top. But look, it's all from up here. He said he saw more today than in 110 years. America's oldest living veteran finished his honor flight trip in D.C. today. Yesterday, the Louisiana native laid a wreath at the World War II Memorial and today a special visit to the White House. KPLC's Jillian Carter follows his journey in Washington. He's lived through 19 presidencies, and at 110 years old, Frank Levingston is finally visiting the White House. It's just one stop on his honor flight tour of D.C., but it's the one trip he hasn't stopped talking about. After a busy few days, he arrived. Touring the halls where great men walk, the tables where first families eat, Levingston himself, a legend. Unfortunately, the president was unavailable, but Levingston was able to meet some representatives from his home state, sharing war stories. And I'm so glad to get out of that <laughs> And laughs. He's showing another reason why he lives so long. He's got a great sense of humor. He does. Yes. It takes a lot of it takes a lot of that to to, uh, to have that kind of longevity. And to think that he survived that and all through the war and everything afterwards it makes us proud. When you were in Sicily, what were you doing? Uh, I was a mechanic there. Very different lives, but the same love for their country and respect for each other. What an incredible honor to meet you. But it's a bit of an honor for me to be able to shake your hand. He says he's seen more this week than ever before. Truly, the trip of a lifetime. And what a remarkable lifetime it is. At your service in Washington, D.C., Jillian Quarter, KPLC 7 News. We want to thank Alan Bergeron, his crew from Honor Flight Austin, not only for providing this trip for Mr. Levingston, but for allowing 7 News to be there along the way.